So today's course is going to be about stress in the workplace and health and safety. So what we'll be looking at as part of stress in the workplace is the different signs that there may be of spotting people suffering with stress. And then this afternoon we'll talk about hazard assessments. Module 5 is all about stress in the workplace and health and safety. Normally people wouldn't put the two subjects together, but during the workshop we talk about the signs of stress, how stress can impact our members, what policies there are to benefit our members, and then we look at how that can carry out hazard assessments in the workplace. The course objectives is to help our reps gain an understanding of what stress actually is, whether it be in their personal lives or in the workplace, and how it may impact them as a rep as well as their members. It's about raising awareness because the stress has always had a stigma about it, and it's about breaking down that stigma and helping our reps to recognise the signs in other people. All of my workshops require um, participation from the reps that attend. Um, during the workshop uh, for Module 5, we get the colleagues to do several different tests, um, i.e. exercises that they can use when they're back in work. What the course doesn't do is it doesn't enable people to diagnose people with stress, anxiety and depression. But through the exercise and through networking with other reps on the course, it helps them build up a support system. And then we look at helping people to understand that there's a structure to health and safety. Because of some reps may be in their workplace and do a half yearly assessment with their manager, but not understand the importance of it and not understand all the other aspects of it as well. So during the workshop, we do set up an environment that is an unsafe environment and we get them to do a hazard assessment. People have enjoyed the workshop previously, and some people have found that they really enjoyed just sitting there and taking it in and thinking about their own personal experiences. Because most people have had some experience of stress, anxiety or depression. Everyone's had some experience of health and safety, but they may not be aware that they've actually had that experience. Yes, it's interesting. Uh, it's obvious that um, a lot of people do suffer from stress and bottle it up. I think particularly because I work mainly with men, they tend to just think they can brazen their way through it and cope and then you suddenly see people cracking up. I think that what the course is saying is try and pick up the signs of that early and see if you can help people. I think it's been really, really informative. Um, Chris has got a great style and a great way of getting his point over. And I think I've learned so much from it in terms of how to spot stress in my colleagues um, and also the resources that we have for dealing with that. I think that we learn so much from each other and that is one of the strengths of the union, the reps talking to each other and, and learning from each other. I think it's an excellent idea, especially to combine it with the health and safety. Uh, that in itself is an, an acknowledgement that uh, stress is a real uh, problem in today's workforce. I think it's helped me to uh, recognise uh, uh, behavioural uh, changes in people and the possibility of that being stress related uh, and I would hope that I've gained the knowledge and the uh, confidence to say to somebody is everything okay? Is there anything that you would like to talk about and encourage them to open up? I think the course is very informative um, and it's really good to hear that people are not afraid to, to share what they've dealt with personally. I think that's a really big point to it. Um, when we were going around the table seeing if anybody had actually suffered from any personal stress or if, if there'd anything happened to them um, that had you know, kind of impacted on them in a serious way. And nearly everybody said yes. And I think that's good to share with, with other people. I think the biggest thing is knowing that it's okay to have those conversations with people when they, they look like they're starting to show those signs of stress to step in and give them support early on before it gets to the stage of you know absences and things like that. Um, I know quite a few reps that have already been on this course and they recommended it to me and I'll definitely be passing on that recommendation to other reps that I know.